Hey there now, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the John Graham Show. Metal Gear Online introduces a new mode, maps and character. Well, pretty much, um, Konami's pretty much ba uh, is pretty much about to drop a brand new piece of DLC, March 15th, 2016. Something that is supposed to be called Cloaked in Silence, in which that they give you um, some pretty cool maps for, or I can't really say 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 a cool, but they're giving you some maps for Metal Gear Online, which are the Coral Complex, Rust, say Rust, Rust Palace, and as um, say Azure Mountain, and pretty much they all fe feature Quiet. And and from April twenty uh, uh and from April seventh, two thousand sixteen, you will be able to play. Play a new survival mode, which pretty much is a team-based team thing, which I kind of already thought was what 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 was going on with the whole like um, Metal Gear Online thing, but but apparently it's you with one team going up against against another. The very interesting thing about this though is that all players are are able to access the new modes for free, and you can play upwards to ten matches a week, and they always reset how many times in which that you you um uh, can actually play these every uh every Tuesday upon the scheduled maintenance which is actually pretty cool and pretty much um if you uh pretty much whereas those of you with the cloaked silence expedition or at least in this case if you buy the DLC you pretty much have unlimited access now i pretty much think about this and i'm pretty much wondering who in their right mind is pretty much going to go and purchase these things here? Now I'm not gonna say that say that nobody plays Metal Gear Online, especially after what what um, uh, Konami did um, has done and pretty much the rep the reputation in which that they have pretty much gathered in the gaming community. But I still sit here and I think that this may actually be a pretty cool cool thing to check out or pretty much at the very least the free stuff anyway if that's what you like and pretty much you can have fun fun I'm um, uh, playing Metal Gear online I still have to try it I mean like I really want to I really want to give it a shot but I really haven't really gotten around to really putting back in Metal Gear Solid Solid 5 and actually, uh, and actually trying it out but but from that though it's like I don't really think that the gaming community really trusts trust Konami anymore enough to, or pretty much at the very least enough to even really give them money because, because we already know that that's a very slimy company and we really just don't want to have anything to do with them. However, however, I say check out check out the free unlimited access thing though because well not the free unlimited access the actual ten. The um, ten matches a week. Actually, give that a try. Actually, see see if that's what it's all cracked up uh, cracked up to be. Now, now that's pretty much all I have to say about that. But I'm still thinking thinking to myself as to as uh, as to what can Konami do at this point to really even get people, or at least get or at least get or at least get me as a pretty much like a avid Metal Gear fan to even trust them again to really even try and spend money on money on uh, on uh, something like like this I don't know but that is what I gotta say about that please tell me tell me what do you think about this down there in the comment section I will catch you on the next John Grave show keep watching anime keep playing video games I'm out